If you are building a data pipeline and all of the task is to upload bounce data files to a database system, then you'll probably find the script useful. So this is one of the Python code snippets in my collection whenever I need to upload data files such as a CSV file, JSON file, or text file to a database system. So here in my project folder, I have a folder called data files. Inside this folder, I have four files. Uh, three of them are CSV files, and one of them is an Excel file. So in my Python script, I want to write a logic to ignore uh, any other file format other than CSV file. All right, so let me go into my uh, Python script. Now from the import statement, I'm going to uh, import the library first. So for this program, I'm going to uh, import the OS module and to connect to my SQL Server database or any other database system that supports ODBC connection manager. I'll be using the PYPY ODBC uh, library and I'll name the module as ODBC. And you can install the library using the uh, pip command pip install PYPY ODBC. Now let's look at the uh, data file. So let me open this one of the CSV file so you can see what the format looks like. So inside my CSV file, my table has five columns. And the script is going to uh, iterate every single file in this uh, data files folder, then it's going to upload these three CSV files to my SQL Server database. So one of the uh, practices is you'll need to have a database system ready. And you also need to make sure that you have the uh, table created. So I'm going to upload my uh, CSV files to this uh, ready SQL uh, table. Now going back to my Python script. So here I'm going to create a function called book insert. And this function takes uh, two parameters, data file path and the uh, target table name. So this is going to be reader SQL and data file is going to be the uh, file path to each uh, CSV file. Now inside the uh, book insert function, so here's my uh, dynamic SQL statement. So I'm passing the data file argument to this uh, book insert uh, statement. So here's the uh, file path. And here's the uh, target table name. And we uh, specify the uh, required fields when you're uploading a CSV file. Then it's going to return the uh, SQL statement of this uh, bulk insert uh, operation. Now let's go to step one, which is to uh, establish a SQL Server connection. All right, so here I'm going to create three variables. The first one is going to be the server name. And if you don't know your server name, then you can uh, use the SQL statement, select at, at server name, and run the select statement. And that will send the server name. All right, so because I just upgraded to SQL Server 2022, so I'm going to update my server name. And database name is going to be JJ, and the target table is going to be reader underscore SQL. Now let's go ahead and create a connection to connect to our uh, database system. All right, so here I'm going to uh, reference the ODBC module from the top. Then I'm going to uh, use the dot .connect function. Inside the uh, connect function, we're going to provide the connection string. So we need to provide driver name, and it's going to be SQL Server, server name, database name. And if I'm using a username and password to login, then you'll need to uh, specify the UID property and the PWD property, which is user ID and password. All right, so here, uh, let me go ahead and run this code block to create the connection. If I print my connection object, and it's going to return as a connection object with an object ID assigned. And you can create multiple connections to uh, multiple uh, database instance. Now we can go to step two. So I'm going to expand the window a little bit. Now in step two, we're going to iterate each data file. Now here I'm going to uh, create a variable to point to my data files folder. Then I'll use OS.list function to list every single object or every single file folder in the data files folder. So if I go in the run these two lines and print data files. So here's the Excel file and the uh, CSV files, one, two, and three. 
and the ignore folder. I will choose one to ignore from the script as well. Now to execute any single statement, we need to create a cursor uh, object. And cursor is basically a connection that uh, pointing to your uh, database system. In this case, it's going to be uh, pointing to my GHG database. Now to upload the uh, data files. So here I'm going to insert try accept block. Now let's look at uh, the try block first. So inside the try block, I'm saying that within the uh, cursor object, I want to iterate each file from the data files list. And if the uh, file type is a CSV file, basically uh, when an extension ends with dot CSV, then we can assume that that's the uh, CSV file. Then I will reference the cursor object that execute. Then uh, here is going to be the bulk insert SQL statement. And just make sure that you provide the uh, full file path. And since uh, right now I haven't uh, executed the loop, so data file, uh, this variable is not created yet. And here I have a print statement to uh, print the data file path that got inserted to my table. And once the all the uh, data file single statement is executed, then I can run the cursor.commit statement to upload the uh, data files. Now let's say uh, one of the files uh, is corrupt, but one of the files has an uh, incorrect data type for of the count. So if that happens, then an exception is going to occur. They want to roll back the transaction, meaning that I want to uh, undo every single operation that I just did from the try block. They want to print a message, transaction rollback. All right, so this is going to be everything we need to write for this uh, Python script. Now let me save the file. Let me go back to my uh, SQL Server database. Now if I run this uh, SQL statement, so currently my reader SQL table is empty. Now let me terminate this session. I'm going to run the script by pressing F5. So here I'm getting this uh, connect obtain the required interface IID column info error. So to uh, fix this problem, so usually uh, that just means that my data files have some dirty data. So let me go ahead and open every single CSS file. And I'm going to delete all the empty counts and save. Now let me try again. So I'm going to press F5 to run the script. All right, so this time, uh, noticing that my air message is now gone. Instead, it's printing the uh, file path followed by the table name and the uh, uh, inserted message. Now if I go back to my SQL Server database, if I run the slash statement from the Reddit SQL table, I now have 27 rows of records uh, inserted in my Reddit SQL table. So this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video, and hopefully you guys found this video useful. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.